Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about the Radwin Duo. So I'll be taking you guys through the Radwin Duo web interface configuration and management and be showing you the basic features of the web interface and how you can navigate and easily set parameters and configure your web management of the Radwin Duo. Okay, so please come along. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. Feel free to comment on whatever questions you have or issues you have. Okay, so basically, uh, we'll be logging in um, via the um, IP address. Using the IP address, we'll be logging into the Radwin. Uh, remember, you can set whichever user you want operator, admin, or installer. So, username is admin, the password is netwireless. Okay, so at the far left, we have the filters. On top of the menu, you have the admin menu, and right under it, you have the HPS status. Um, where you have the two carriers, that is the 5.x and the 3.x. You also have the activation button at the sub-menu. So, right below the HBS, we have the available SUs connecting to the HBS and you can change your display views below. You could also check the HBS sector information by the right. Um, you can select the HBS to access the configuration menu and in the HBS configuration menu you have under systems general um, you have the air interface where you can configure your frequency your CIR you have your advance where you can change band select any band universal FCC or any one um, you know to your so you can also go to management and configure your VLAN, trap destination protocols. You can also set HTTP or HTTPS, but it's best to leave both checked. You can also set user parameters. You can also configure Ethernet. You can check inventories, check the serial numbers and aggregate capacity of your radio and current temperature. For the NCNMP configurations, you can set your parameter, you can set link password, username and password, you can also configure your date, and you can use your computer. And in the Ethernet, you can set your LAN ports, TX ratio, quality of service configurations, and at the general, you can see the, how long your radio is going. So, we go straight to the available SUs now. You can go to the filter and check the carrier status, link status, registered status. You can also check service type. Um, we can also um, select any carrier we want or uncheck any carrier we want. Okay. For the link status, we can check um, how many HSUs are synchronized or not synchronized. You can also check for interference. Uh, we can also confirm how many are registered and unregistered. And we can check if our service type is on best effort or CIR. So the filter either carry. Okay, so HBS sector information view shows detailed description of the chosen HBS and HSUs. You can as well scroll. You could also view events at the top button where you can check history. Um, you can see um, current histories, whatever activities is going on the radio. You can also check for performance. Um, you have the, the device and the view. You can set how long you want to view. And, uh, you can download it as a report in a PDF. Uh, as PDF or CSV. And once it's downloaded, you can get that from a download folder on your computer. You could also do a spectrum analysis. 
you could scan for frequency and check which channel is free so you could um, use the best frequency band available you can set time you can set for 120 seconds and you can choose to stop whenever and once the spectrum results out you can pick which result is bar is best for you and there are different colors to help you determine which you are currently running on and which you are not currently running on you can as well download this report either pdf or csv so here we're looking you can change how your hsvs are displayed on the hps you can either choose large, medium, or small icons. You could also scroll to see full details of your HSU. Here we have the SU Pro and the SU Duo currently connecting to this HBS. You can also upgrade, you can back up, and you can restore configuration. You can reset factory default and you can also activate licenses uh, you can also get diagnosis reports so as to use for support so you when you send that to radwin or your radwin partners or your integrators they will be able to help you out in order to change users please you must log in through the https Okay, remember you have the observer, installer, operator, and the admin. Well, you can also log out through the admin button. Um, Login. Net wireless, select configure management user, add new. I'm going to add a new user and test user. Now, let's say test user, no space. Um, Okay, so that is um, the brief um, setup we can. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. And for now, cheers.